What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this new through night whistle and asking the question, is this a helpful survival tool? All right, so here's what it looks like. You get the uh, whistle in a bag, you get a lanyard here, and then some information right there, and it all comes in this little plastic box. What we're gonna do first is actually test out the whistle at different distances to see how well we can hear it. So helping me with this video is my son. What's up? I'm gonna walk away a certain distance and blow the whistle. We'll hear how well uh, we can hear it. And then he's gonna go further away and further away and further away. Is it a helpful thing to have a whistle as a survival tool in the woods? Let's find out. All right, test one, 30 feet away. All right, he's at 100 feet now. All right, he is out there. You can kind of see him right there in the middle. And this is 200 feet. All right, he's at 300 feet now, and you can see him over there, kind of through the woods, 300 feet away. Okay, go. All right, this is 400 feet. All right, he's going out to 500 feet. So ballpark, a 10th of a mile. All right, so we are walking out to a little deck that looks out over a pond. We're gonna show you where we are. We're gonna look across the pond to where I'm gonna walk. And then we're gonna see how the sound travels across an open area like water. All right, so I'm walking to the other side of the pond. I can hear my uh, my son just like playing with the uh, whistle right now. I told him, wait, and I'll get to the other side. Then we'll test it again on video. But as you can see behind me, he's like up over these. There's a drop, there's another rise. So even despite some of the terrain, I can still hear him uh, blowing the titanium whistle. And uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't really skeptical that it was gonna be a good survival tool, but it is noteworthy how, uh, yeah, just how loud it is. It's pretty impressive. All right, so he is like right, kind of over in this area. Let's see if I can see it, yeah, right over there, there's the little deck area. So we're gonna have him blow the whistle, then I'm gonna go up, go up over another hill behind me to see how the sound carries. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'll tell you when, okay? I'm gonna go over this little hill, we'll do it again. All right, so I'm walking here. You can see the pond, sort of over that hill that way. I wanna get some more distance here, some more trees, some more terrain in my way. And then we'll see if we can hear the, the whistle still. So you've seen the whistle in use. It's a simple product right now uh, for Black Friday and probably a little bit beyond Black Friday, uh, 2023. These are available for $12.79 for this one, titanium in that basically titanium silverish color. And then they have a titanium which has more of a brass finish and that's $12.99. Um, bottom line is that you should have a good whistle with you in a survival kit. And this one, it's getting a thumbs up for me. I mean, I was, I was far away. I was probably two tenths of a mile by the time uh, my son blew that whistle on that last uh, recording and it worked great. So a simple product, but does the job. So you can get this with a pen. You can get two of these together in the kind of like a package deal. You can get this, I think with a QD release. So a bunch of different options there on Amazon, but yeah, it's a cool little product, something simple. When they reached out to me, I was like, yeah, how do you do a video on a whistle? But I'm like, okay, let me try different distances and see how it works. And it worked quite well. So. Um, don't underestimate if you get in a survival situation, some people are like, I'll just yell. You will get tired very quickly. Your throat's going to get sore. There's just a bunch of negatives to that. Whereas carrying a small lightweight whistle can be a great option for a survival kit, a highly recommended, I think a non-negotiable option in a good survival kit. So there it is. If you got any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments and, uh, yeah, let's get the discussion started in the comment section. What do you think about this whistle and whistles in general when it comes to survival kits? 
Hey, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids and click that little bell as well so you get updates when we put out videos. We're around on social media, so Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.